had we completed 25 years of its contribution to the indian manufacturing sector especially to the automotive industry they are one of the leader in india so today at bharat mobility i am joined with uh, prem prakash gajpal as well as pavan kumar patodi congratulations uh, of 25 years thank so you, how was you. this journey all about yeah so yes we are celebrating this as our uh, silver jubilee year we are very excited very optimistic and this take us back to when we started we started with uh, a product called water pump oil pump and the tensioner when two wheeler uh, was uh, engine was changing from two stroke to four stroke and this product were required that's where edwick symbolize uh, whenever there is a technology change, there is an opportunity and since then in this 25 years whenever we found the change in technology we have grabbed a new opportunity if you go to pragati maidan at bharat mandap everyone is concentrating on ev i think adbik has also have taken steps into uh, that uh, vertical absolutely so uh, the, the product what you see here is another uh, these are the traditional brake product but this product in adbik is born with the emergence of ev when ev was emerging in two wheeler and government announced its fame subsidy it was only possible if supply is done from indian maker and that's where we decided to enter into braking system four years back and today in last four years we have entire range of two wheeler braking system so it's all developed in india it is fully developed it is developed by indian engineers with our own technology or own know how and we have complete range of two wheeler braking system For me, the two-wheeler beat the IC engine traditional. Yeah. Now CNG is also coming, and the uh, EV. Yeah. For me, it looks the same. But what is the technological difference if it is an IC or if it is a uh, EV in the two-wheeler braking system? Uh, as such, if you say that um, braking system per se, there is no no big change because braking is braking whether you apply for the EV or this one. But uh, uh, battery powered motor powered engines are more aggressive so you need more aggressive braking okay because in i say in your um, uh, acceleration is a gradual whereas in this case it, it can be instant because of motor so you need to have a very very reliable very prompt very responsive braking system and uh, apart from that uh, uh, if you talk about what are your ev range At, at at this point of time or are you developing uh, any new products uh, for this segment yeah absolutely so when we um, i'll tell you again somewhere in 2018 we are scanning that uh, what is technological change happening and then we found that tv is going to emerge personally in two wheel and then four wheeler so taking cognizance of that because there are most of the product goes into icing and then As I said, with the Anne, as I said that whenever there is technology change, we want to see that a new product. So in four wheeler also now all our pump product which uh, is there in our next booth. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there, uh, I'll show you two segment. This side is all mechanical product, mechanical pump which goes to ice the engine. This side and that side. In the center, all these products are electrical. So these are range of our electrical water pumps, electrical oil pump, electrical vacuum pump. And so this also goes in the EV or no? The, this those, is for the ice. That that is for ice. Okay. But interesting is that electrical product can also go to ice. Okay. Because now that even in ice engine, that customer wants to reduce the load on their engine, so they are now taking it. is a replacement of those mechanical product and that was another smart move by edwick saying that this is required for ev but then even technology change impact the current product portfolio too maybe in the coming times maybe this are going to be replaced completely by the electric motors may not be fully but all this uh, advanced vehicle or uh, advanced featured vehicle may certainly be there So here we have, you can see the battery. 
this is again the need for electric vehicle but this is not a normal battery this is the battery which you can be recycled so we have used a different technology and uh, we have tech, our tech center in the uk and our team working from there to uh, industrialize this product so here if the first life of uh, battery is over we can regenerate and we use for the second life we can use for the home or we can use for data center uh, besides the automotive so this is going to again change the landscape but lithium iron uh, it is the battery is lithium iron the very important is the current battery once its first life is over you can't reuse it you have to destroy it. and and reusable batteries is going to be the trend tomorrow because we yes. cannot uh, so here it is quite easy to replace the dead battery and the replace with that and regenerate the whole battery system but that also will change as you told the data centers and other places because even over the lead batteries what we are using we cannot yeah. just replace just it right yeah. so yeah. these things can become very very yeah, yeah, yeah. So disruptive that is, that is what we are looking into and that's the reason we are working uh, on this particular technology and uh, from battery i want to showcase you one of our concept project which is uh, it is called uh, uh, range booster hydrogen fuel cell based range booster so here you can see here we have this hydrogen cassettes cassettes and which this, are going in the vehicle yeah yeah this is going to the vehicle to extend the range let's say your battery operated vehicle is there and you don't have charging station you fuel with the hydrogen so this hydrogen will go to the fuel cell fuel cell will generate energy and it will uh, then the power battery. the battery same battery of the vehicle so what you need is that replacement is only this cassette and then install uh, your fuel cell so uh, this is a concept level futuristic but, uh, yes but this can kill the range anxiety this can kill the range anxiety people have and uh, with with changing the the cells you can generate the power and charge the battery and run the vehicle as well so this will be a, a good thing for the india kind of areas where we we can give the the range anxiety solved we also uh, have seen that ad with expanding its yeah. uh, geographic market acquiring companies uh, getting technologies to india so any new such uh, developments for adwick okay, so i asked my colleague yeah. pawan recently uh, adwick has uh, taken over power sports gmbh a uh, 140 years of history in the baking company which makes the high speed bike breakings i can show you some of the product range uh, which we have covered up here uh, if you see so this is basically adwick as you see we are in the the mid segment and low segment bikes braking system already from last 4 years and making a million breaks there uh, now we have acquired this uh, company from power sport gmbh germany in, yes in the germany which is uh, having an operations in near stuttgart uh, where we are making the the braking system for high powered vehicles uh, or bikes uh, like bmw and harley davidson Uh, the technology is in such a way that now we covered up from the 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 hundred cc bikes to the the complete twelve hundred fifteen hundred cc bikes segment as well. The capability yeah. of Indian two wheelers are going to go high, and that yeah. is an area where we are looking at that this can we can good synergy with Advic with the power sports add in our portfolio. We can cover up the ice uh, vehicles in India for this one. Whereas in power sports, we can provide the full system technology, including hoses and disc and everything in the the full system supplies uh, supplier as well for that. Yeah. Now, as you are completing your twenty five years, the company will definitely have certain vision, huh? And certain plans. If if I can ask you, maybe next Auto Expo when I am going to come. Okay. What so, what what is it? that adwick will be bringing some transformative technologies perfect perfect so this is something that we we spoke uh, when we were in the last auto expo we were talking about the the electrified pumps uh, which is now an already a reality and we are supplying already same way this time we have presented some of the cng technological products which is our jv with nikki technology partnership with nikki and in that product segment we are adding a multiple products and next auto expo i would i'm sure that we will be definitely be able to show you the productionization and a big sales volume coming from the cng technology for advic portfolio as well in the yeah. cng technology we are talking about the uh, two wheelers four wheelers or the entire okay. range so right now we are working on three wheeler and four wheeler segments but of course uh, as you know uh, bajaj uh, bajaj has already 
the freedom with an, uh, freedom in cng2 wheeler and we will uh, definitely be plan to work with them as well on that product i i always tell that if you need to look at real innovations you need to come at auto component show where whatever the new models what is coming you people need to do a lot of hard work right you know correct to ensure the vehicles weights are coming down yeah and the the mileage is very important like as you told that they want to bring down the uh, the, the load dependency on. load on the, the fuel engine, yeah. engine. Yeah. and so these kind of innovations are very important for india to bring down the carbon footprint to bring more sustainability and also bring more profitability and a great experience for the riders or the people who are passionate or correct. people who are users correct and end of the day it will bring a sustainable future for all of us that's how it is thank you both of you for sharing your sharing your time with machine maker and uh, giving this insights and i wish you all the very best thank, thank you machine thank you maker thank you for taking this up and wish you all the best as well thank you thank you, thank you.